a receiver for iOS 4.2. That's what we're going to see. Yeah. Okay. Right. Cool. So we we're taking several steps to actually make the receiver experience better. As Mark said, April 3rd, I actually didn't remember the day. That's when you remember it. Is we released day one um, a receiver for iPad. And we're pretty excited about it because we got it there early. But I knew at heart we we're just scratching the surface. It was just the beginning, you know, and there is a lot more for us to show and do. So what I want to introduce you is to our new interface of receiver, where, where I'm actually very excited. We'll be working very closely with the receiver and other teams on Windows and Mac, you know, to bring all this experience together. And what you see here is a collection. It's my home screen for receiver. It's where all my enterprise apps are. It's one layer away from the home screen of your device. And right now you can see I have Outlook. And the way I add more applications uh, is by simply tapping Explore, which reveals a gorgeous store on the back that will just display me all my available enterprise applications. And I, with a single touch, I can just add, let's say, PowerPoint. Just add a couple, right? There we go. I just added a handful of apps, and I can just go back home, and there they are. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You know, so you one so one touch away from every enterprise app, and two touch away from self service to end. Absolutely, wow. absolutely. You know, in fact, we have two lives when it comes to developing emerging technologies like this. First is our native instinct of thinking forward and looking to the future. And the second is our community, our users. They've adopted, they've been using it, and they keep sending feedback. And we're open, we're listening, you know? So not only have we made the experience to get these apps so simple, we also enhance the way you use them. So shall we? Yeah, keep going. You know, um, I love OneNote. So I'm just going to open one note. And you can see uh, that the first thing that we're going to try to do here is... Um, there you go. It's coming together. Server, you know. So the first thing is you will notice um, is connecting to apps are much, much faster um, in conjunction with uh, Zen App 6 and Zen, and Zen Desktop 5. You know, we've added a visual indicator of where your finger's at, so you can kind of see it. It helps you train um, when manipulating objects on the screen. It's, it makes it a lot easier. You know, it, it trains your mind, it trains you like how to use touch. But really touch sometimes is difficult, especially if you're coming from a Windows world. You know, you're accustomed to mouse, and mouse pointers, you know, so we've heard that. And we're adding a mouse pointer to it. So you have a mode, you can add a mouse pointer to the string and just drag it around. You know, it has a little nice offset. You can easily tap on an object, drag it around, deal with small objects on the screen, like this guy here and whatnot. So that's all very, very comfortable experience. So now the entire screen becomes a touchpad. Correct, exactly. better you know so first I'm gonna switch apps so you can see how quickly you can go from one app to the other so let's just open my outlook again and bam right there real fast so it doesn't stop there I'm looking at my corporate email right now and you know it's my iPad I use it for personal things too you know, I could go play Angry Birds see my Twitter you know so I can just kind of go home, you know, uh, look at my personal email and see what's there. You know, I can see like <laughs> my Foursquare, I checked in in the airport and whatnot. You know, Twitter, whatever. I can do anything that's personal. But you know what's best? Is that my enterprise apps are still there. So I can just simply go right back to the enterprise without a click. So it's just always there side by side. With my I don't skip a bit. 
How cool is that, Mark? How do you like it? I'm loving this so far. Excellent. You're, you're killing me. I love, I, I love that. I love that sort of uh, carousel Ooh, rotate. rotate. Okay. It's actually a bug. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, so uh, many other improvements that are coming is we're gonna pop the we'll pop the keyboard automatically for you with, with a, tax, a, a tax field. You know, uh, we'll have uh, wireless printing. Everything. We expect to have day one with iOS 4.2, uh, so stay tuned for that. You know, so so this is great, okay. But what about desktops? Oh, you know, you so showed us apps. What about desktops? I'm glad you asked, because go back to receiver home here. Just go back to my apps. And uh, as far as desktop goes, uh, Zen Desktop 5 is just so breakthrough that we decided to do something completely different and treat desktop. It's desktop. It's a one-to-one. -one. It's my desktop. So I'm going to open Safari. Let's... Safari. Just here. Here. So I'm going to go on Safari on my iPad. And I'm going to log in. So the same exact desktop. login screen we saw earlier that Brad walked us oh, through yeah. all these other same devices. Same as the other devices. Same experience. Same, same website. Yeah, same everything. Back here, I'm going to add this desktop to my home screen. So I'm just going to close it, just my desktop, go back to the spell, add, and voila. Now I have my desktop along with my native apps on home screen. I can just come back. Ready. Tap on it, select my desktop, it will open. Receiver automatically comes up from the home screen, fully integrated Safari, to my desktop. Let's talk about. Well, okay. So we got desktop. You know what? Do that. Do that switching. Go check your personal. Oh yeah, email sure. Let's on. do that. Let's do that. Let's go back to my Twitter and Facebook and Foursquare. You know, and just. Uh, I, I love it. All right. Let's go back to our desktop. Back to our desktop. Yeah, I love, that's my favorite. <laughs> okay. How cool is that? All right. So, apps, desktops, one click away, one touch away. Uh, beautiful, easy, all those great things that we talked about earlier. Mouse. So we already have the mouse. Right. Let's bring a keyboard and, um, and okay. a monitor and let's try to plug it all together. Okay. And make you know it. what? I'm going to make you a deal. I'm going to buy you this major HD screen for your living room. Okay. Perfect. Because oh, I, got a, <laughs> I got a pipe to it right over here. Oh, all right. You can go get the keyboard. I'll get the keyboard. Perfect. Okay. So. What's really cool about this, you just kind of plug it in. Sorry, Brad, I'll steal your keyboard here, buddy. And it's going to come up on the screen. And then, and there you go. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, reorient this so that it can work. As the touchpad. Yeah, there you go. And the touchpad. There you go. You can see the mouse movement um, and everything. So, so now you've got to pair this Bluetooth. But wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have the multitasking now. Exactly. So, so I can, can just go out, out to the system settings. And so I'll go out real quick. You know, uh, go to settings. I'm going to pair my keyboard. Zoom, zoom. Turn it on. Keyboard. Voila. Back into my desktop. Right where I left off. Let's bring a. Let's see if I can go. To my living room, putting me in Nirvana. There you okay. go. That's it. Mark. Thank you, Gus. That's exciting. Thank you. Very much. Okay. So, there you go. Virtual computing solutions, flexible environments, the whatever, whenever, wherever enterprise. That's what we have in store for you this week. 